Hey everybody, David Stingab here. Uh, let's see, we're on video number 27 now. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this one is just go over the uh, customize section under appearance. Uh, this should be a pretty quick one. Okay, so I've clicked on it. So what you're going to see is uh, basically just an example of what your website will look like should you uh, make any of these changes. So um, it's it's basically just a quick way. It's like a kind of like a shortcut way to just make some of the main changes that you can make in other ways in the back end of WordPress in other areas. So for example, site title and tagline. If you remember, there was another place in settings that we can change this. So if you want to change it just real quick, come in here modify that right um, colors let's say uh, for this theme that I'm using it allows me to choose a different background color so let's say I wanted uh, yellow right or something like that oh my gosh that looks so bad but um, you get the gist of what I'm saying right <laughs> so um, so anyways this is where you can where you can do all those different sorts of things you know let's say you want to there we go sure whatever that's still pretty bad but okay I'm just gonna go back to white clear there we go um, so yeah so things like colors background images if you have an image that you want to use as your background you can click here drag it drop it or select it uh, like this and you know go and find your file wherever it is on your computer um, all right uh, navigation this is a pretty big one so this is in other words this is the menus section so this tells you oh, okay uh, what menu do you want to use where so this current theme that I'm using it allows for three menus which is uh, you don't really hear that too often so it's a pretty big uh, poss possibly big website so you know I could have all of my main stuff here because I'm, I'm gonna sell stuff on my website right so let's say I want my home here about um, uh, services uh, you know special events and then maybe contact and then maybe I want and that's probably and this one is the primary menu right so let's say I want that one to be my main menu which is something that I've set up somewhere else right there it is home and sample page because that's all I got and remember a long time ago I put I'm an author underneath uh, as a sub item so there's that and then we could do secondary menu of pages so just wait and it puts them all in so these are all again these are all the example pages that were uh, created when I imported that sample.xml file uh, but of course you can change all these um, but anyways I don't want to do any of these right now at all so I'm just gonna take them out leave everything as it is and I'm gonna do them in the actual menu section because um, to be honest I don't really care for this <laughs> this area all that much um, alright so that was the navigation uh, static front page again this is something that's in the settings do you want it to show your latest posts or do you want to change it to show a static page if you're using a custom uh, theme honestly you're probably going to want to stick with latest posts unless the theme tells you to change it to uh, something otherwise so I'm gonna leave it and then this is just another quick way to get to uh, widgets which I'm gonna do in my uh, next video I think uh, her next few videos I'm gonna do the widgets and uh, so the widgets are what you see on the sides or sometimes in a footer uh, so let me just expand that section so there you go so you see there's a search widget then there's a recent post so there's search recent post if I scroll down recent comments right here recent comments right here archives archives etc etc categories meta and meta is basically just um, I've never actually seen anybody use meta on their website not professionally anyway um, I think it's more of a if you have a blog thing and you want people to be able to log in log out <clears throat> that kind of stuff um, alright so if you want to just quickly remove or add different widgets you can do that so you know what this theme already has a search up here like right here so I don't need another search that's just kind of a little too redundant for me so I'm just gonna click on the down arrow remove I'm not sure if it just updates right away oh yeah there it goes so there you go um, so yeah there's just one example of uh, how you can quickly change something so I'm gonna actually save that after I'm done so sidebar and then there's also a footer widget so if you go to the very very bottom let's say we want to put something in there see you can click on add a widget and then you can choose uh, 
let's do, uh, let's see, arbitrary text. This is a great one. Um, so let's just say uh, address. One, two, three, four, strawberry lane. I don't know if that's actually even going to go anywhere. Is that in there? Oh, there it is down there. So yeah, so right there. Um, somewhere, BC, Canada. And done. So you see, um, I don't know about you, but I think that this is sitting a little tightly to the left side. So that's something you'd want to use CSS on to maybe just pu push it over to the right a little farther. Um, but I'll get into that in, in a later video or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, you know what? Let's leave that too. Who cares? Because uh, it's not a real website. So I'm going to click Save and Publish. So it claims to be saved. I think I just... Okay. So I'm going to close out now. So now I go back to the uh, main uh, WordPress backend. And I'm just going to... I'm going to scroll. Actually, I'm just going to watch right here because I took that search out, I think. So I'm just going to refresh and see if it goes away. Yeah, it went away. And let's see if the address is at the bottom. And there it is. So, you know, so maybe um, you'll want to... Oh, I guess it's not that far to the left. It was just my windows really, really puny right now when I record this thing because uh, it's only 720p. But... Um, Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the home page. And yeah, that's a general overview of the customize section. So next we'll do widgets, and um, I'm just going to go over the different types first. And that's it for that video. But uh, all right, I'm ending this one out. I'll see you in the widget section. Okay, bye.